Hello there. My name is Tim, and I'm ever so glad you've come to hear more about my exciting Christmas adventure with Jump Jump of Holiday House. Cosby the Clown, Sleepy Slim the Lion, the Poet, and Jump Jump, the little elf only three inches tall, and myself were up in the frozen country trying to rescue Santa's reindeer. They had been stolen by the Ice Queen, and the closer we came to her palace, the harder she tried to stop us. So far, we had escaped the trap she had set for us, but now we were facing a stampede of polar bears and seals and penguins that threatened to run us down. To make things worse, little Jump Jump had popped out of Mary Holiday's pocket and was jumping around right in front of the path of the onrushing polar bears. And we were having a hard time catching him first. Everybody, Jump Jump's going right toward the animals. Jump Jump, please come back. Jump Jump! Oh, Jump Jump, you'll be run down by those animals. Jump Jump, come back, come back. Come please, back, Jump Jump. Come on back. I Mary Holiday. Oh, good, Tim. Good, Tim's got him. Oh. Oh. Here he is, Mary oh, Holiday. Oh, here you are, Jump Jump. Now, please don't wriggle out of my hands. Oh, Jump Jump, you can't fight a whole army of polar bears. He sure is mad, isn't he, Mary Holiday? <laughs> yes, Tim. Jump Jump is angry, but the ice queen is trying to prevent us from rescuing Santa's reindeer. He's so angry he's willing to fight all those animals single-handed. Into my pocket, you go, Jump Jump. There. I guess I'd better button the pocket tightly so he can't jump out again. We'd better start running, don't you think, Mary Holiday? Those animals will be here in just a minute. No, now. no, don't run, don't run. The animals have stopped running now. Yes, they are watching us. I'm a circus clown. I'm a master at training animals. Isn't an, a polar bear an animal? Yes, indeed, he is, Archie Pockley. But you'd better hurry. You just get behind me, all of you. Come along, Sleepy Slim, the poet, Mary Holiday, Jump right. Jump, everybody. Now, imagine that you are at the circus. At the circus? Yes. Tim, can you pretend to lead the band? Can you imitate a drum? Hmm? I, I guess so, Archie Pogway. I, I'll try. Boom, 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 That's boom. Right. That's good. That's all right, Tim. Yes. Now, I'll use the belt off of my coat for a whip. All right, animals. Stop. You're going to perform now. The circus begins. Harry Holiday, do you think Archie Pogway can possibly stop that stampede of wild animals? Well, we, right we'll have to wait and see, Tim. It's our only chance to escape. Now, everyone, welcome to the greatest show ever to be seen in the frozen north. Come one, come all, it's free. See Sleepy Slim, the most ferocious lion ever to be taken alive, dead, or asleep. All right, now. Well, I think the animals are going to do what Archie Pogby says. See the waltzing polar bears, music, lights. Check your partners, please. That's right. The one and only company of dancing polar bears in the whole world. You peek out of Mary Holiday's pocket and see Archie Pogley making those animals perform? 
just as if they were in a circus. Wow, fun, ow, fun. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Archie Potley's turning somersaults now. <laughs> over and over, he looks like a bright colored wheel whirling around. <laughs> come, on, come on, come on, folks. I think we can slip away now. Now, Archie the Potley? animals, yes. They're having a grand time dancing and performing. All right. They won't notice us if we leave and leave very quietly and don't make any noise. Step softly now. Softly. All right. All right, Archie Potley. Come on, everyone. Ooh, was that long? Oh, don't you think we can run for it now? We're far enough away from the animals. They're still doing tricks and dancing. Look at them. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, here we go. Ah, yes. Now I think we're all right. Yes, I think we can slow down now. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What fun. I did oh, have fun. Fun? Well, I don't know about it being fun, Archie Potley. Oh, but you were wonderful. Archie Potley, you saved our lives. You sure did save our lives. I'll never make fun of you again. Oh, oh, but Tim, I want you to make fun of me. I love to have fun made of me. That's why I'm a clown. <laughs> <laughs> jump, 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 jump thinks I'm funny. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'll never forget the way those polar bears stopped running toward us and started to dance together. And they say you made those seals clap their flippers. I like the alphabetic penguins best. <laughs> Didn't they look funny standing on each other's shoulders? <laughs> yes, Tim. But we'd better, we'd better put our minds on being alert again now. Don't forget, we are just about a mile now from the Ice Queen's palace, and she might try anything to prevent us from reaching it. I wonder why she is so cold-hearted and mean. She is selfish, Archie Potley, that's the clown. Yes, Jump Jump is right, she is selfish. Now let's all be very careful. Watch where you walk, and I think the poet and Sleepy Slim had better walk behind us. And uh, keep a sharp eye out, because the Ice Queen is likely to try and surprise us from all sides. Yes, Mary Holiday, that's true. There's nothing she won't do to stop us. Wait till I put my fur clothing on again. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. That's Archie Fogley. I think it's getting colder as we come close to the Ice Queen's palace. It's lucky you remembered to grab your fur clothing when we ran away from the bears. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Timmy boy. Say, that's strange. I didn't see any mountains of ice in front of us before. Did you, Tim? Mountains of ice, Mary Holiday? Yes. Look, right ahead of us. What a peculiar thing. Yes, you're right, Mary Holiday. There wasn't anything there a minute ago, I'm sure, because I know I, I, I looked to see. Maybe, maybe the ice cream put them there with her magic. <gasps> oh, Tim... Did you hear that ice queen laughing? She did laugh. Did you hear I it? I sure did. And I don't like it all. It gives me the shivers. It seems we always hear that laugh just before something terrible is going to happen. There's something awfully strange about those ice mountains. They, they look just like great big statues. So they do, Archie Potley. Oh, but mountains often look like figures, you know. Hey, I saw that one move. Move? Are you sure, Tim? Are you sure? Hmm? Are you you sure? bet I'm sure. There, another one moves. See it? Oh, how could I have been so stupid not to realize at once? Realize what? Realize what, Mary? Holly? Those are not mountains at all. No. Not mountains, Mary Holly? No, Jump Jump. They are the Ice Maidens. They are alive. You mean those giant warrior women you told us about? The ones who guard the Ice Queen's palace? Yes. Oh, look. They've seen us now. What has turned your head? Oh, yes, what a chilly glance. I, I'd rather go back and play with the polar bears myself, I think. Yes, I... I almost agree with you, Archie Pogley. What do we do now, Mary Holiday? I don't know. I think we need the Christmas fairies' help again, Tim. Yes, we do. Oh. Oh, isn't that her voice, Mary Holiday? Isn't that the Christmas fairy? Yes. Oh, yes, it is, Tim. But I don't see her anywhere. She must be invisible. Oh. I hear her speaking, Mary Holiday. What did she say, Mary Holiday? What did she say? Hmm? The Christmas fairy said to ask Tim to carve Jump Jump a mouse. Why, that's the strangest thing I ever heard of. Why should Tim carve Jump Jump 
a mouse. I know, I know. Yes, Jub Jub, I think I know too. Hurry, Tim, call me a mouse. But why, Jump Jump? It's not time to be playing games. It's not a game, Tim. Do it. Yes, do it, Tim, as fast as you can. Oh, I haven't any wood, though. Oh, I hate to interrupt, but you'd better hurry, Tim. Those ice maidens are staring at us as, as if to pounce on us any minute. Come on, I still Tim. have a bit of whalebone that Eskimo boy gave me in my pocket. I'll carve a mouse out of that. It won't be a very big one. Oh, I think it'll be big enough, Tim. Oh, all please. right. I'll hurry all I can. Oh, here's the bone. Now for my knife. Oh, 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 those big girls up there, they don't look friendly to me. Oops, oh, I'd hate to have a date with one of them. They are fearsome looking, Archie Pogley. We only hope they don't rush toward us all of a sudden. So far as I can see, they're just guarding the approach to the ice palace. Yes. They have instructions not to allow us to pass by, no doubt. Oh, I only hope they don't attack. Me too. Hurry, Tim. I'm hurrying all I can, Jump Jump. Here's the mouse's head. Oh, yes. Now for his body and tail. It's... Oh, oh, oh. One of those ice maidens is standing up now. Mm. She she looks as big to me as, as the city hall, I guess. Oh, she, she's only 20 feet tall, Mary Holiday, is that all? I don't know. Tim, have you finished the mouse? I'm afraid the ice maidens are getting ready to attack us. Oh, now the others are standing up. Oh, yes. oh Tim, hurry up, Tim, hurry. Oh, Tim, Tim, that, that's good enough. That's good enough. They're coming toward us now. Oh, hurry, Tim. All right, that'll do, I guess. Tim brought me, but it's a mouse. What do we do? Unbutton me. Let me out of your pocket, Mary Holiday. Oh, oh, yes. Let me out. Yes, Jump, Jump, I'll let you out of the pocket at once. Uh, there you are. I'll put you on the ground next to Tim's mouse. Now hurry, hurry and touch it, Jump, Jump. <laughs> jump, Jump. He's touching the mouse. Oh, he's going to bring it to life. Why? Oh, you'll see, Tim, you'll see. There, there, the mouse is alive. Oh, it's a real mouse yes. now. Oh, look at it scamper toward the ice maiden. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a sight! What a sight! <laughs> oh, look at those great big clumsy ice maidens are running away like a bunch of school guys. <laughs> my little They're mouse. running from a teeny weeny mouse. <laughs> oh, look at him run. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> well, in a few moments, the ice maidens have disappeared. They just up and ran away as if scared to death. <laughs> I'd forgotten girls don't like mice, but the Christmas fairy hadn't. <laughs> Well, that took care of the Ice Maiden, but we still had to actually reach the palace to get into it. So we pushed on right away, hoping to reach the palace in a short while. But I'll tell you what happened tomorrow. Tomorrow.